Loved ones and people who knew this local music teacher speaking to News 4 Jax about losing her. It's like a bad dream. I tell you something, whenever I went to the grocery store, I'd buy some avocados, and she loved avocados. And I says, here, I brought you one. What police say appears to be a murder mystery on this quiet Panama Park street. 62-year-old Deborah Lyles was found dead in the carport of her home yesterday. Her car was missing, believed to have been stolen, and police are looking hard to find it. Take a look at this picture. This is a similar car, a pale gold 2010 Buick LaCrosse with the license number 275 LLJ. Channel 4's Destiny McKeever joining us now after visiting with Lyle's family and neighbors. Destiny? You know something, Joy? Neighbors had nothing but very, very nice things to say about Mrs. Deborah Lyles. They say this is a terrible loss for anyone who knew her. No enemies, no arguments, no nothing. This is how neighbors describe Deborah Lyles. She was found dead at her Panama Park home yesterday. Police say she had multiple injuries and do not know when she was last seen alive. Neighbors say it's shocking. It's like a bad dream. I tell you something, whenever I went to the grocery store, I'd buy some avocados and she loved avocados. And I says, here, I brought you one. Lyles was a music teacher at San Jose Elementary. The school district released a statement to News 4 Jacks. They say the entire community of San Jose Elementary School and Duval County Public Schools is deeply saddened by the unexpected passing of one of its staff members. Neighbors are also offering comforting words. I seen Mike, her husband, and I told him that uh, Debbie's in a, probably in a better place. She's probably in heaven. Now we're told there will be grief counselors at the school at San Jose on Monday for those staff members and children who need it. We're reporting live tonight, I'm Destiny McKeever, Channel 4, the local station. Destiny, it sounds like Lyle's injuries are part of what led police to believe she was murdered. Do we have any idea what kind of injury she had? Well, you know, Joy, that's a good question. We did ask that, and of course, this is still very early on in the investigation, so they're still searching for those answers, but they do not know just yet. All right, Destiny McKeever reporting live for us tonight. Destiny, thank you. Folks, we wanted to show you another photo of Lyle's car the police are searching for. Again, take a look. It's a pale gold 2010 Buick LaCrosse. The license number is 275LLJ. If you see it, please call police. Also, in a one-mile radius over the past three months, we've done some digging. There have been 106 incident reported, incidents reported. This is where Lyles was found murdered. Using JSO's crime mapping tool, we found there have been 35 instances of theft, 20 assaults, and 19 burglaries. There have been zero other homicides.